Okay, what's her snack? <laughs> we have oyster crackers, <laughs> a class favorite. We have raisins. We have more oyster crackers. Uh, we really wish we could share these with y'all. These are bee crackers, which means they're purple. <laughs> um, and some cheese and some cuties. Yum. We wish they were here. All the kids. cuties. All the other cuties that we normally have. Hi friends! We are up in the tree house since there's only three of us so we can see down um, and all around the park and we wish you were here. We're gonna read a snack time story in a minute and share that with you. And then it's spring and it's written by someone named Julie and the pictures are done by someone named First you have brown, all around you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. And it is still brown but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. Puddles! And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. about those little seeds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. Please do not stomp here. Boy, that bear has a flower pot on his head. What a great hat. And the brown, still brown, has. Did I skip the page? Nope. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. You hear all the animals making their mazes underground. When you go outside, can you hear a hum in the ground? You have to listen really close. Really close if you want to hear the ants. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day. That sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. It was really sunny yesterday. And you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around, and now you have green. All around, you have green. <laughs>